Bow Wow may not be in the headlines as much as he once was, but it doesn't mean he's not living luxuriously. The success he achieved at a young age in the rap industry afforded him some gorgeous homes over the years, even a spot in Georgia he's been living in since the early 2000s. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Bow Wow is an American rapper and actor whose real name is Shad Gregory Moss, and he became an American cultural touchstone after breaking into the music scene at only 13 years old. Back in the early days, he was a young kid who had been writing rap since the age of 6 and calling himself Kid Gangsta. When he wasn't much older than that, he was given the opportunity to perform in front of a live crowd for the first time. Snoop Dogg just so happened to catch the performance and the two linked up after, which is when Snoop gave Shad the name the entire world would come to know him by, Lil Bow Wow. After appearing on Snoop's debut album, Doggy Style, Bow Wow would pursue a career in music and dropped his first album, Beware of Dog, in 2000. The album performed exceptionally well and would sell over 2 million copies in just a year's time. From that point forward, Bow Wow would continue to make music while also pursuing a career in film and television, appearing in movies such as Like Mike and the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Having found success at such an early age means that before he was even old enough to understand how something like property taxes worked, Bao Wow was making enough money to support his family. In fact, one of the first things he did was buy a house in 2002 that both he and his mother could move into. And guess what guys, they're both still living there. That home is one of two that Bao Wow bought in the area of Duluth, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta, and today I'm going to give you a look at both of them. How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara back again with a brand new episode in our house tour series. You guys requested this one, so today we're going to jump into the time machine and take a look at the homes of rapper Bow Wow. He's been a little quiet when it comes to his music lately, and I mean we're all still waiting on that last album he promised us a few years ago. So while we continue to hold our breath, I thought I'd offer you guys a peek into his home life. We noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. To begin with, I just want to give you guys a quick taste of one of Bow Wow's former homes. Bow Wow previously resided in this two-story ranch home located in the Sugarloaf Country Club after buying it for himself around 2005 when he turned 18. The interior of the home features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and its very own private movie theater with red velvet seats and a matching red curtain. I'm pretty sure I also spotted a popcorn machine in that bad boy because what theater would be complete without a choice of snacks? The kitchen is gigantic and top of the line with stainless steel appliances and a massive island located right in the middle, resting on top of some pristine hardwood floors. The living room and dining room is combined together in one large open space that features floor to ceiling windows that look out towards the picturesque lakefront located behind the home. Speaking of outback, there's even a geometric pool with its very own stone waterfall to relax during those hot Georgian summers. Bow Wow would sell this home in 2009 to Major League Baseball pitcher Kenshin Kawakami after he signed with the Atlanta Braves that same year. Reports suggest that Bow Wow sold the home for around $850,000, which is about 100 k less than he was originally asking for. Alright, now let's take a look at the very first home that Bow Wow ever bought and the home he still lives in to this day with his mother, Teresa. Bow Wow's very first home was a mansion that's located in the same Atlantic Country Club as his other home. This one is quite a bit larger than the other and he bought this 14,500 square foot mansion back in 2002 for close to 2 million dollars. Out front of Bow Wow's home is a decent sized motor court where he can display and park a handful of his nicest wheels. Through the front door is his main foyer and as glamorous a space as it is with its winding staircase and low hanging spiral chandelier, its most impressive feature by far is the sentry that guards the door. Bulldogs are so cute aren't they? Moving on right through the front foyer is access to Bow Wow's living room and as soon as you enter it, you can immediately tell that he doesn't live here alone. Bow Wow's mother decorated that space herself and I gotta hand the lady her props, she did a pretty remarkable job. She took advantage of the floor to ceiling windows and decked them out with some tasteful drapes that lets just the right amount of natural light in. And the decor is also on point from the love seating couch duo to the art hanging on the walls. Through a short hallway off the side of the living room is the entrance to Bow Wow's kitchen and ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for some dark 
dark mahogany. This room has the aesthetic of wood on wood with a little bit of marble countertop thrown in for good taste, but seriously, I don't know if I've ever seen a kitchen with more cabinets. Through some nearby French doors is the entrance to an outdoor patio that offers enough room to feature a gigantic barbecue, a reclining chair, and a table where you can sit to enjoy any meal of the day and pair it with the amazing Atlanta weather at the same time. Although I think I spotted another rug on the ground out there, so you might want to check with Bow Wow's mom before you step on that thing. And hey, speaking of his mom, right through the patio doors on the other side of that outdoor space is Teresa's room. In terms of her boudoir, she's got a massive room that's split down the middle by a double-sided fireplace. On the one side of the room looks like a ton of open space and windows. On the other, it's where Teresa keeps her bed and a way too comfortable looking dog-shaped beanie chair. For those of you keeping score at home, that's like the third or fourth dog-related amenity this house has featured so far. But hey, when you got a brand, you push it for all it's worth. Up the stairs of the main foyer is where we'll find Bow Wow's bedroom. The young rapper's room is nearly identical to his mother's in size and layout, with a double-sided fireplace once more located in the middle of the room, splitting the living space on either side. Where Bow Wow's room differs from his mother's is that he has a very clear idea in mind in terms of the aesthetic. And instead of hanging pictures up on his walls, he decided to get portraits of his favorite celebrities painted onto them. Now that we've taken a look at the two main floors of the home, let's rock it all the way to the bottom floor. Not only does Bow Wow keep his game room down here, it's also where he keeps his collection of NBA basketball players. Literally. Yep, that's a super young Lou Will, long before he became a multiple six man of the year award winner and got hooked on those Atlanta strip club wings. Bow Wow was able to have friends like those thanks in part to his kick ass game room that features a pool table, air hockey table, Mrs. Pac Man arcade machine, Terminator pinball machine, and a wet bar that Bow Wow may or may not have already been using despite how old he was. I mean, I don't know for sure, I'm just saying he probably put the bar to use. Finally, out back, Bow Wow doesn't have a whole ton of space considering the size of the rest of the home. What he does have is a bona fide necessity, a swimming pool. Alright guys, that's going to bring our look inside Bow Wow's homes to an end, but before we go, I thought I'd let you know a couple more things. First and maybe most surprising is that as best as I could discover, Bow Wow still lives in that home with his mother. In 2015, he told People Magazine, First of all, the house is too big, but I want to make sure my mom is comfortable forever. I remember when I first moved to Atlanta and Jermaine Dupree had the same situation. He took part of the house and his mom had the whole rest of it. I said then that I wanted to have the same setup. So living with his mom has always been the plan. In fact, over the subsequent years since Bow Wow invited MTV into his home, he remodeled the basement to turn it into a fully contained unit. That's where he spends most of his time now and his mom gets the top two floors. He told people, It's like I have a condo downstairs. I've had 100 people there and my mom has been asleep and never heard the music, screaming, laughter, or drinking. I mean, full blown house party downstairs while she is in the bed asleep. So I'm staying right there. Now you're probably all wondering what a party like that may look like. Thankfully, I'm able to come through for you here and suggest that it probably looks a little something like this. Hey yo, I don't gotta go out. I got a club in the crib. It's crazy in here right now. The thing is, Bow Wow was exaggerating just a little when he said that because that's not really his house. Let me explain. It turns out that Bow Wow filmed that clip at his buddy Jermaine Dupree's compound nearby. Jermaine's place has an indoor basketball court, a full studio, and even its own nightclub as you can see in that clip. Apparently as much as Bow Wow still enjoys living with his mom, he prefers to spend the majority of his time living it up with his buddy Jermaine. Like that's where Bow Wow is 90% of the time. Like that's where he's at. If he's not at his house house, then this, I'm, I'm here. So if you're ever looking for him, I'd start there. All right, guys, that's going to bring this episode of House Tour to an end. What did you think of Bow Wow's homes? They're pretty much identical, especially when you consider they're both located in the same country club. So I can understand why he sold one of them already. And I gotta say, the home he shares with his mom is super nice, if only because Teresa has got a flair for decorating. I'd be really interested to see how Bow Wow renovated the basement. Do you think he made it all black down there like he did in his bedroom as a teen? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to get in touch. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!